So we moved into a new apartment and before we settle in, I wanted to show you what it looks like. It is an empty apartment tour, so there's not too much to show yet, but I wanted to share what my plans are for it as well. I also want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And as always, there's a link to a free trial in the description. So as you walk into the apartment, you can see the hallway that turns and leads to all the other rooms, as well as the living and kitchen at the end. I'm going to have to figure out a way to make this entry space functional, but not take too much space and also look nice. The first room is going to be my office and as you walk in, there's a small entryway that takes you to a bathroom on the right and a closet to the left. I really love the color palette of this bathroom and the retro design and even though it doesn't have too much storage space, I can definitely make it work. Opposite the bathroom is a built-in closet where I'm going to store my stationery, craft supplies and all my equipment just like I did before. However, the unit that I was previously using isn't going to fit in here because of the doors, so I might have to figure out a different solution for this one. The room itself is a little bit smaller than my previous office, but it's still more than enough space for what I need. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep kind of the same layout as I had before with my desk on this side and the armchair storage and decorations on the other side. As you walk back into the hallway, you can see the double doors that lead to a storage slash laundry room. It's the only storage space we have in this apartment, so I'm very grateful for its size because I'll be able to fit the drawer unit that we have, the laundry basket, and it's probably going to double as a pantry as well. Further on, we have the main bathroom, which has the same design and color scheme as the other one, except it's bigger and it has a bathtub. The only storage in here is in the cabinet above the sink, which again isn't too much, but it's definitely going to work. And I also appreciate the ledge because I can decorate it a little bit and make the bathroom more cozy. Walking further along the hallway, you can turn left to go into the bedroom. And even though it's a spacious room, it does have a weird shape. So it's going to be a bit challenging to fit the bed and a desk. So far, this is the only layout I can think of that might work with the bed on this wall and a desk here. Obviously, the desk is going to block one of the closet doors, but you can access that space through the other door, so it's not a big deal. At the end of the hallway, you come into the open plan that includes the kitchen, dining and living room all in the same area. And then, of course, you can go out onto the balcony from here. Because the TV outlets are placed on this wall, I can only guess that the apartment was designed to have the TV unit here, the couch facing this way, and then I'm guessing the dining table here. However, I feel like this layout would really close off the space, and I'm also not a big fan of walking into the room and seeing the back of the couch. I can also imagine all of the sunlight coming straight into your eyes as you sit on the couch. So anyways, what I think I'm going to do is have the TV unit on this wall instead, then the couch facing this way, and finally the dining table will fit perfectly behind it. This layout just makes more sense to me, at least in my head, but we'll see how everything fits. Our previous kitchen must have been at least twice the size of this one, especially where storage is concerned. However, I really love the style and the colors of this one a lot more. So in the lower part, we do have some space under the sink for trash and recycling, as well as cleaning products. Then we have the dishwasher, some drawers for cutlery, and maybe we can fit the pots and pans in the other drawers below. And finally, we also have this small space where I'm thinking we can put snacks and stuff like that. I've also never had open cupboards before, so it's going to be exciting to see if I can make it look nice and not too cluttered, but also functional. This whole space is definitely going to be a challenging project and I'm going to need to optimize every single inch of this kitchen. Planning out a room is always a little daunting and if you're ever moving or redecorating, I highly suggest you start out with sketches and mood boards just like I have. But if that seems a bit overwhelming, I highly recommend Erika Fogelman's Skillshare class on how to design a room in 10 easy steps. This is one of the most comprehensive classes I found on interior design as it offers a systematic approach to creating beautiful and functional designs in your home, which is exactly what I need. It also features tons of project resources to guide you along the way, including worksheets, examples, and solutions to common design challenges. 
This is just one of the many classes that have been so valuable to me during this time, but Skillshare also has thousands more on a variety of different subjects, some of my favorites being illustration, creative writing, photography, and productivity. Their classes include video lessons with hands-on projects and feedback from creative and curious people, and they're always launching new premium content to keep you engaged. So the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a full month of premium memberships. So you can explore all of their content, and I'm actually very excited to see how I'll be able to incorporate the things that I've learned into my own space. Alright, so from the living room, you can go out into the balcony and because of the big windows, it really makes the whole space look a lot bigger and brighter, which I really love. The balcony is quite large, but it feels cozy at the same time, so I can't wait to get some plants up here along with the balcony furniture as well. Alright, so that was the apartment tour and as I'm recording this, I'm surrounded by mountains and mountains of boxes and I'm tired and overwhelmed, but excited at the same time. Let me know if there's anything more you'd like to see about this whole moving in process. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed the tour and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys.